movie will begin in five minutes, the mindless voice announced. All those unseated will await the next show. We filed slowly, languidly into the hall. The auditorium was vast and silent. As we seated and were darkened, the voice continued. The program for this evening is not new. You have seen this entertainment through and through. You have seen your birth, your life and death. You might recall all of the rest. Did you have a good world when you died? Enough to base a movie on? Aquarius, how you doing guys? Um, so let's see where we are. So I hope you're okay. Um, so this is Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Okay, so it's from the 19th to the end of the month, basically. Don't worry about timelines. Okay, uh, I'm about to go out and buy myself a crystal. <laughs> Fucking major one. Tourmaline. Wow. When I went to pick this up today, I, I put this in my hand and I basically, um, I went to sit, uh, even now, that is absolutely healing. My, uh, this medium that I went to see also kind of goes into, it's like a, a shop, a fossil shop, but they do all kinds of stones, uh, minerals. Um, and she, um, she said, wow, you've got a lot of energy, dark energy around you. <laughs> she said, I can feel all that negative energy around you. And as soon as I pick this up, even now, I can feel my whole arm tingling, um, you know, and it's very cleansing. Um, and I forgot about using my crystals and stuff and having actual time to myself in order to do things, you know. Um, and we I have a lot going on in my chart, you know, uh, Chiron moving, uh, Black Moon Lilith, fucking God knows, uh, a lot of feeling of disassociation of actually fucking realising who the fuck I am <laughs> at the minute, you know. <clears throat> but... So I'm going to get on with your reading, but if, if there are any songs or anything like that, I think I'm going to put a lid on the personal readings. I'm not really sure at the moment. I need to be in a good headspace in order to think clearly for personal readings. Um, but I'm not sure. But if you want one, there is an email there. Um, and if there are any songs and all that kind of stuff, you know how I do. They will also be in the description. So anyway, let's see. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or Jupiter. From now till the end of wow what the fucking timeline are we on january right i don't really follow that but so there you go the moon so there's a lot going on astrologically so people could be coming up for judgment judgment call there could be a lot of mystery mystery in the air a lot of feeling of unknown disassociation um really trying to figure um i mean it can be it's love it's cancer of pisces pisces um or cancer um, but it's it's things that are hidden. So there's something that's hidden, that's unyet. It's like unyet to be seen. It's kind of like um, we'll see if the card comes out. Okay, but it's like the intuition as well. You know, when you're a medium or when you're psychic or when you're a healer, you kind of you have that great connection of knowing that the mystery is always something that's unsaid or unseen, and that's why you're a medium and that you understand because you feel it as an energy. Okay, because it's a Neptunian energy, which is relates to Pisces, but it's more kind of Cancer, really. It's both. It's not. It's not ruled by Neptune, um, Cancer. But anyway, let's see. Um, so finding a quality and balance, or um, or things that have been. Things that have been hidden could be people separating time between other people. See, this can also be like energy thieves and energy vampires. People that come in through the dark, okay, at night time, night cycles, moon cycles, okay. And it comes in or someone comes in and they take more from one family and they give it to another person or another family, another person, okay. Because there's always more, than the, more to give to one than there is the other. Okay, so they're not really truly aligned with themselves. It can also mean Aquarius because it's it's centering you of the seed of intent. Okay, um, what else was I picking up? There was another message I was picking up. Um, I'm not really sure what I was hearing. I was hearing something, but I was in the mid flow. There's a lot going on astrologically as well, you know. Um, because it's it's not because there are things that are still hidden things that are still fucking hidden is what i'm picking up 
people hiding from responsibility. That's it. Responsibility, um, which can be feelings, thoughts, emotions, lies, deception. Can, the moon can hold anything, and it's a moon cycle. I'm really, I'm really looking at the face of the moon. The face of the moon. It's kind of staring. It's kind of watching. Right. I never really noticed that in this card, but it's like watching. It's like silently watching. So some of you could be, someone could be watching you or something like that or mysteriously in the background because it's in the background, okay? Um, could be, be something to do with the Cancer, Sun, Moon or Rising, Cancer, Moon maybe, or Pisces or Water Sign. Um, <coughs> but there is a lot, like I say, there's a lot combinating because this is also like a judgment call too. Because the scale of balance, it's called upon to judge. Like when I'd say, okay, so when I picked up this, a calling in life, okay, doesn't also come in form of things that we believe to be true. We are called in a, that's why nothing happens by chance. I just knew that I, I had to, I wanted to go over to try and find out the exact time of when I was born because I'm, I haven't got the exact date and time, okay, not the exact, uh, the exact time. But pretty much, but I went to the library to try and find out, and they they don't hold it. Um, but basically, I knew that I wanted to go to the shop that was nearby to pick up a crystal, and it called me in order to get it because the moment I did, I pretty much started crying because I had so much energy around me, so much dark energy that needed cleaning through karma, through family karma, through narcissism, through so much that we've been through within this last cycle. That's it. So sorry. So the moon cycle. So from one moon cycle to another, or retrogrades of things, certain periods of time within astrology, I really need to catch up with my astrology, but things come into fruition, and the moon cycles, they eclipse out things that, needing, that need eclipsing out about us, about our own overgiving and over-nurturing or under-nurturing or too much of this and too much of that trying to find balance so what it does is <coughs> it calls us upon a direction of what we hear substance of what we hear like i was saying in the other reading uh, i think it was the virgo reading about happiness and thoughts and feelings that it's a never-ending source love is a never-ending source of supply of anything anything happiness also it doesn't even matter if you suffer from major depression there will be one moment of an instant that you actually feel okay and happy is because there's so much of it okay so it doesn't run out okay but the things that are true okay true and honest are things that it's a trusting bond it's a trusting bond because if bonds of trust are broke then it's a bond that can't be it's like uh, money right like a bond of money if it's stolen from a bank some of you could be thieves or energy thieves, energy vampires stolen from a bank. It's like when you feel that energy of like an energy vampire, an energy thief or a dark energy around you. OK, it's like um, like you've got a wallet. OK, and it's full, say, of a grand or two grand or three grand or God knows how much money in your wallet. Right. Or your purse or your bag or at home. And, you, and it's there and it's took you a long time in order to build that energy level up, okay? Because it's also a source of energy, okay? And it's there and you know it's there and then you turn your back and then all of a sudden when you wake up or when you go to look back at it, it's gone. And you felt real good at one point and you're like, fucking hell, I've got all this money or I've got all this built up energy. But then all of a sudden, it's fucking gone. You're like, where the fuck is that gone? You know, and you lose your shit, right? Because you would, because it's like someone's just stole it from me. So as an energy, as an energy vampire, when you learn to listen and feel, you become intuitive. So you know that someone's hiding, okay, because they're taking, they're taking. If your intuition, if you're, well, I mean, if you're in something, right, where you fucking know for a fact that someone is literally cheating, if you're looking at a relationship or even in a job, if they're two-faced and they are actually cheating, right, then what the fuck are people actually in it for? What would be the point in that? Because I, I really, as a Pisces, I've got fucking absolutely no idea why people would do that. Why they would want to be with someone that's going to treat them so badly. 
why would they want? I don't understand. Well, I'm, I do apologise, but my head is throbbing. I'm having another awakening. <laughs> I'm having another awakening. Believe it, a low down awakening in the back of my head, majorly this morning. Things were great, and then all of a sudden, I started having an awakening. Um, awakening to the truth. Truth sets you free. Your own truth sets you free. Okay. Never believe me. Always believe in yourself because it's yourself that tells you the answers to yourself of the direction that you go in. That's why it's a judgment call upon yourself. You know, don't judge other people. Always make that call yourself in order to learn how to move forward. You can't wait around in life with people that dangle scales above one and give more to another. You know, you form a quality and balance and scale of love and money and finances and career by being caring and sharing. If people are not, then what they do is they suppress feelings and emotions and thoughts and they hide it within themselves and others. That create an ascension of a chain of it coming back around to them where someone would do exactly the same to them. And then that's the blame game. Well, you did it to me, I did it to you. You did it to me, I did it to you. Well, what are you still in it for then? Well, because I'm waiting to beat the other person that should be not in that triangle. Well, fucking wake the fuck up. <laughs> you know, wake up to reality and stop living in illusion. Okay? Which is kind of like, it's still the blame game. I'm waiting for something to fucking happen. Well, how long is a piece of string? Okay? How long is a yarn? <laughs> how long is a tail that someone spins? A lie, okay? So that tells you where you are on your path of actually fucking realising, we're like, whoa, fucking hell. I've been waiting around for this same bullshit to happen again. So what do I do? Well, I make a judgment call myself. And I don't have and participate in that kind of bullshit whatsoever. Because I have self-worth and respect for me. I need to gather my bearings to realise who the fuck I really am in life, you know. Am I actually ready to receive things instead of overgiving? Is it my time to actually receive something true and honest and that's a trusting bond between myself and someone else? Or am I willing to literally sacrifice the fuck out of myself for someone that just keeps it doing it back to me? The blame game. There's a fine line between love and hate, but there's a fine line between what you are willing to accept and what you're not. And if you're self-acceptant of someone doing that to you, well then you know where you are. Am I really here separating your soul from your meat suit to realise that we are human beings in life? Okay, We physically are. But we do have thoughts and feelings and stuff and conditioning of parents and all that kind of stuff that relate to ascension of where you have to look at people as their soul and not their meat suit. Their meat suit is what carries the conditioning. The meat suit is the conditioning of the ego of the mind that keep this stuff alive because this is alive. She cried from the other side. The veil of time, the veil of time is what tells you yourself and your own path. And if you don't fucking listen, well, then you remain blind to the truth of yourself. Okay. Yourself always tells you, and that's why it's a judgment call, that you call upon it yourself to make healing, healing, healing. So some of you could be healing from the past. Some of you could be fighting because of something from the past. Whoa, that's fucking hell, Aquarius. What you lot got going on? Because that's two cards. That my awakening, I knew I was having one because when I was travelling in my car, <laughs> I was travelling in my car. So um, could have something to do with the car, maybe. Um, but... Yeah, I was fucking drift, <laughs> driftwood, driftwood. So that could be your song. Yeah, driftwood floating underwater, floating under pieces, pieces. Yeah, pieces. Someone's giving bits and pieces to someone else. So that could be all. That could be it, driftwood. But yeah, as I was driving. I was like fucking zoned out, man, in some kind of space and toriated fucking vision of, um, well, my awakening is still happening because I've got a fucking splitting, <laughs> well, not a splitting headache, but um, you know when you've got awakenings, you just go with them, right? If you want to know more about that, I can do stuff. There is stuff on my channel, videos and stuff. Okay, so opportunity, opportunity knocks to either do the same thing or move away from it. 
okay but you've got one person looking in this direction of something that's hidden and that they're still trying to find out but then you've got an offer going in the opposite direction from someone that's not getting enough someone's getting too much of something but it's still hidden and then someone is also trying to find a quality through so hold on so you've got one two pentacles there and then this one three seven that's a seven of pentacles right <clears throat> but it's still an opportunity and then you've got the ace the ace of cups but i mean these are opportunities okay if we don't find alignment and stability within ourselves of our ascension path of knowing where we are okay we miss these opportunities and these come about all the kind of, all time really but free will these are free will choices this is the universe to say hello right we're giving you an opportunity of something that's grounded and stable or an opportunity of something okay to either wake up to the truth or continue to walk the truth of a cape crusader and thinking that you're batman or superman that you continue to fight fight or flight this is like a flight card it's like a passing or a returning okay because it comes and it goes it's an opportunity it knocks okay so if we're not grateful for the small things in life then they just don't get bigger okay so then we don't form a quality in sharing and caring and then nothing comes back to us because we remain blocked and guarded have to remain open in order to receive your lesson be it good or bad, because you will only learn through the amount of times that you do it through things that are hidden from you, the fact that it knows we're kind of like, okay, well, I'm just ready to receive now, and fuck it, I'm out, Nige, I'm not accepting any more bullshit, I'm on my path of direction of this way, okay? So if you're not grateful of that kind of stuff, you go back in time, basically, and then what happens is the same thing happens again, back to you, back to me, to me, to you, to me, to you, to me, to you, okay? In patterns of three triangles, because someone doesn't fucking learn, one person learns and they go in this direction, the other people don't and they continue on that path. So some of you could be expecting in some kind of maybe judgment call of the same thing or not. You know, these are general, general uh, readings, you know. Or you could just be a very mysterious person and you have got equality about yourself. So we've got the Six of Cups which is soulmate energy, right? You've got justice coming in, finding balance. You've got the page of swords. So the six of cups is more of a karmic. It can mean children, but it's a reflection of the past, of like I was saying, a reflection of the past of a moon cycle. So I really can't remember what the fuck is going on with this moon cycle because I can't remember. Some Someone please leave, um, um, and I'll pin it. Um, information about what's going on astrologically please um, because um, I just I just haven't got time and I can't remember what's happening in Vedic either at the moment um, but this talks about reflection of the past okay so it can mean childhood things childhood issues are being broke down in defense okay someone could be very defensive about children okay or not um, there could be an offer coming in to someone that um, is like um god what did i do about a song on the on the discussion page um the protector the protector of um soul growth and uh, soul growth evolution people that teach people you know um young souls young adults young souls people that can guide children or ascension of anything to do with time passing time the time that passes the time that ticks okay um but it can mean karma also because it could have to do with children okay so it means like a returning of the past in order to reflect itself back onto it again um because it's dropping a burden it's you know this is also service or anything like that because it is a continuation of well i'm just going to continue to go forward anyway okay so but it can mean i need to drop it you know um so someone could be, it's just fucking heavy energy. It's heavy energy because of something to do with children, maybe. Um, but the Page of Swords is a thought, okay? It's a progression of something in order to maybe what someone probably wants justice. They probably want justice. This is like the freedom fighter. But you can't want justice, and this is why this can be a very good coupling lot of cards here. Because, like I said, you make judgment calls yourself okay you don't need to find justice because when you don't participate in people that blame and argue 
okay, and or, or lie, manipulate, or whatever, or they keep things hidden. They only keep that hidden themselves. That's their suppression and their depression that they may feel, maybe depending. But when you don't participate in that, in that, that's when karma strikes. Then because you've got your lesson, you have to get your lesson regardless, right? Regardless in life, you have to get your lesson, right? If you don't get it, you stay in it until you get it. Okay, that's pretty much it. So when you don't participate, you clear your energy. Okay, that's when justice then comes in, you know, because you was stolen from pretty much. You were stolen from, okay, and then justice is prevailed pretty much. Um, but someone's defensive again, again. Um, so you've got seven of wands, which is like, it can be, it can be standing above all the rest. It, like I'm, I'm taking higher ground, you know, I don't need to participate in all this stuff. You know, it doesn't mean that I'm higher than anyone else. And some of you could be getting high, man. <laughs> some of you could be getting high, high. Yeah, someone could be taking drugs. Or drinking, maybe. Or this can just be like an illusional time. You know, this is this is only till the end of January, um, but this is just seeking higher ground. You know, I'm I am too wise, too influential in order to fight. There's no one actually there. It's just an illusion, right? So illusion of, of through what could be happening through this moon cycle could start making people feel defensive and worried. Okay, it can be, but it's only a moon cycle. You know, it's all it is. It's what's happening, astro um, astrology wise. You know, or, or or it can mean different things, but we'll see. But the sun, so the sun, okay, whoa, leave fucking shit. <laughs> so you've got the sun, which is Leo, maybe, maybe, but the sun shines the dark on thieves, pretty much, on a thief. So it can be a return, again, a return, a return, a dharmic return or a karmic return, like I was picking up for energy of what I was saying. So yeah, so you've got justice and a return and a walking away, because the the thief walks away um, with the five of swords, which is mind games, right? So they they walk into their own trap of a five, and they leave behind the two, okay, the two of swords, which is decision. So someone's making a decision to walk away to play the same game, okay, the same game, like the blame game. You can't blame, you have to realise through ascension that it was me doing it to someone else in the past life. <laughs> you know, well, maybe. We, we still don't really know as mediums. It's kind of a belief system. No one has to um, innately believe in that. That's just some some weird connection of what we go through to undo what we did before in order to learn how to move forward through a chain of ascension, of, of growing and learning through pain. And reflecting it on one that one does back to another. And I think that's probably in the Bible somewhere. Okay, So some of you could be religious, practicing um, being religious. Um, can have something to do with marriages, commitments, court, courts of law, paperwork. This could be paperwork. Okay, Trying to file everything. Um, some of you could be guides. Okay. Because um, this is also a guide to. Um, but we'll see. So let's have a look. But there's nothing really, really major. They're not major cards. Well, the moon and justice. So let's have a look at the moon. The moon. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. Action. Knight of Swords. Somebody could be fucking steaming in. Um, wanting the truth or telling the truth or something that's very cutting I'm picking up very cutting fast energy yeah because this is also like um, you know it, it's a very passing energy it comes in very quickly you know <clears throat> so if that kind of happens then just you know chill the fuck out people you know, don't fight with people. You're not a Cape Crusader in life, you know. 
Well, that's, I mean, that's also choice, you know, that's also choice. People, people, when, you know, <laughs> but let's have a look. So let's go to, um, justice, justice, have a look at justice. What does justice bring in? Justice. Five of cups. Wow. Um, holy shit. So it could have something to do with a Libra. A Libra could be um, out of balance, completely out of balance, um, and has been focusing more on the past and than what they are turning around. And I'm I'm getting a I'm getting a feeling that this has been going on for a fucking long time for some reason. Because the Pentacles can be fucking years, years, and so can that because it's justice. You know, and that's that's blind to the truth. Blind to the truth. Blind. Someone is blind to things that are going on behind people's backs, Aquarius. That's what I'm picking up for sure. That's what I said. Let people carry on with that because justice will prevail. Just don't participate in people that form this kind of childish behaviour. I know it's difficult and I know it's your, probably your karma and it's something that you have to go through. Right, but someone is definitely hiding shit. Someone's probably got more shit on someone else and they're using it to manipulate to keep someone else trapped. They've got something on them. Selling out, what am I picking up? Selling out. I'm selling, I'm selling out. Someone could be dealing some shit, bruv, and I'm sold out and I need to fucking quickly steam in and get some more. Someone, why am I picking up on that? I've sold out. Mm. Or selling out. Keeping someone entrapped because they know something about someone else that's entrapping someone that knows something about, oh, Jesus, what is going on with you guys, Aquarius? I can't remember what you your last um, reading was about. Let's have a look at... The Page of Swords for Aquarius, please. Aquarius. Page of Swords. Well, so you've got the Fall in Reverse. Well. Mm. That's out of balance, man. That someone's communication is out of balance. Because that's obviously taking it, like, that's something fresh and new. So something, yeah, something's not new. This is old. This is old. That's what I'm picking up. Old. Old. Yeah, old. Someone's been communicating backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards for a very long time for some reason. Why I keep picking up very long time. Because it's an ascension of five. Like, that's like, you know, am I fucking learning anything or am I not? Or am I just so fucking concentrated on the past that I can never turn around in order to create anything? You can't do that. Well, you can do that for as long as you like, you know. But you can't sit in this kind of energy. You've got to learn to move forward. Hmm. Decision. It's kind of like decision. Do I go back to the past, or do I stay as I am, or do I try and move forward? Hmm. Let's have a look at the ten of wands. Ten of wands. Ten of wands. Ten of wands. But that's the star sign of Libra, and that's the only star sign that you've really got. Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands has got, well, the Four of Wands. So something to do with the home life. Yeah, because that did come out as well. So that's um, someone sailing in at Karma Waters, which is dropping a burden. Dropping a burden, I'm going off to create something better and more stable. And I'm, um, fuck it, bruv, I've had enough. That's pretty much what that's saying. Let's have a look at the Six of Cups. And it could be with a new soulmate. Could be with a new soulmate. Yeah, could have Leo in their chart. 
Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or Jupiter or somewhere in their chart. Okay, also plays in your Vedic astro astrology charts too, in your houses. 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 Keep picking up houses between between going from one to another. From one, offering this way, cutting energy, things that are hidden, offering this way to a Leo or water sign. Like the actual star sign of Leo. Or on a good spin here, this is finding strength to not participate in all this shit that happens here. And then it brings in fruition towards the end of the month going into February. Um, sailing into calmer waters, could be travelling, could have something to do with children or, or anything. I've took all my points of growth with me. I've had enough. I'm going from choppy waters into the calmer Karma, yeah, there you go. So I've received justice in some form or manner. Someone is going to, and they're becoming more stable. This can be the soulmate, twin flame, or whatever. Don't believe in all that sort of hype because you'll get lost in the Batman and Peter and Paul effect. Okay, you don't want to kind of believe the hype. They don't, twin flames don't exist. Old flame, twin flame, karma. Okay, you don't want, you don't, you, what you want is a partnership that's strong. <laughs> Not the fight or flight and the fucking, the battling of like halves. What you want is a strong commitment of a bond with the same kind of person that offers what you want, right? You want that? I want this. Well, we both want exactly the same thing. Well, let's form a partnership of a bond. Bosh. All this kind of energy is not, this is karmic stuff, you know? Karmic stuff. Um, let's have a quick look at strength. Strength. Or someone with Leo in the chart. Yeah. Holding on. Uh, holding on tightly to someone new. Holding on tightly to someone new. Or holding on tightly to their lessons and how well that's took them to, to fight against this. And they've took it all with them and they're holding on to it in order to create something new. Okay. Let's take a look at the Four of Pentacles. Wow, my head is killing. Yeah, healing. Healing from the past. Healing from the past. And you've got the Two of Cups. So you've got soulmate energy floating around all over. So this can be like... You've got a lot of stories, man. I'm, tr I'm seeing fucking shitloads of stuff, bro. <laughs> So you've got someone from the past, which can mean karmic, right? This can mean very karmic, because it can involve children and marriage, right? So that's what's going on there. But you've also got the Two of Cups, which is like a reflection of a new soulmate. Now this can mean growth and learning, or it can mean meeting someone at the same value as what you offer them. Exactly, look at the Cups. I offer you this and you offer me that and we form a quality and ascension of growing and learning. And it can be a strong bond of two people that are healing from the past. From the past. So justice could bring in two people that are feeling exactly the same through God knows how many people are messed up in this bowl of shit. Right? There's the fact that whoever's going to receive justice could be at the same time within a moon cycle of two people that have found the strength to break like groups of people can be anybody that you meet that you because you meet your life partner through ascension of learning i'm out i've made my judgment call so i'm healing or i'm healing and then you meet okay and it can be someone from recent past or this can just mean the past energy of someone that you kind of know okay or someone that you'll meet okay and it's took strength for both to meet to finish ascension chains holding on been healing both been Learning to release through healing at the same time, time, time brings in that. And then this, which is dropping a burden, home life, and finding some kind of equality of balance, of calmness, karma, karma. Yeah, so fuck knows, bruv. You've got some weird shit going around, Aquarius. So please leave a 
something in the description to let me know what's going on, okay? Um, I'll try and think of the song and I will put it, or I can't remember what I said now through this, but I'll put it in the description for you guys. But this could be passing energy through the cycle and it could go out into the, to the January, okay? Uh, February. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> into February, okay? All right, guys, so I love you lots and I hope you're all okay and I'll see you soon. Cheers, peace, bye.